Hello, people of the internet. Board Zach here. Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. And in today's video, I am back with yet another custom Lego Minecraft micro world add on module. Now, in the last video, I showed off the desert outpost here, which bleeds the uh, desert itself into the cherry grove uh, forest and also featured the deep dark and the stronghold. And the stronghold was particularly important because I noted that the next video would take us to the end dimension. Now, as of filming this video, my birthday has passed, so I do have both the end and the nether sets and I'll show those closer to the end of the video. This module won't take as long to go over since it's much smaller than the usual module. So um, <clears throat> with this, this will currently mark the end of this first little phase of the micro world. I've done everything I want to do, but I have begun brainstorming some more ideas for how to move forward um, in the future. Um, those last couple videos, I, the world's kind of been dormant for about a month for me, but for you guys, you've been getting weekly videos still. Um, I'm filming this one probably about a week before it will go up, but uh, to me, my birthday was yesterday, April 29th, and um, I got the last two sets. I've had this model here done for a little longer than that, a couple, probably a week or so, but I wanted to wait until I could show it off and have an excuse to show off the completed nether biome so again there are no changes to the main overworld so if you're interested in that and you haven't seen those videos go back and watch those ones instead and then come back to this one to see the nether completed and the end completed so this here is the end city now this was honestly the most difficult module for me despite how tiny it is and the reason was going in, I knew it was going to be difficult because of the color of the end city. I did attempt to build this out of my own parts. I could not do this. This was the only module I had to order parts for because I had almost none of these um, purple or lavender parts. So I had to make some BrickLink orders. And I also was struggling with how to build the structure itself. So this was another one that I went to LDD, uh, Lego Digital Designer, originally. The end city was just going to be one of the little entry rooms and it was going to be about the size of this maybe uh the pillager outpost and i was like this needs to fully portray the size of the end city and the beautiful thing about the micro world is sometimes things don't have to be one-to-one -one when it comes to size i mean the villager micro figures can't fit in these houses but it still gets the point across so with this uh build here i really wanted to portray the size of the end city and I wanted to get everything in and originally it was going to be a full uh, module just like the normal ones and like the official end city but um, or the official end set but it didn't need all that space I found out most of the space was empty so I decided okay this really only needs this one tiny module and i did get this idea from some other builds online i can't remember the creators and i did not directly copy their builds but i got the idea to restrict it down to a one by one uh module or i mean a six by six but a single uh micro world module from some online builds and then translated it into my own build so without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and take a look. So these can separate the levels, but I'm not going to because there's really no point. Down here, we have the portal that takes you into the end city. Pretty decent little build, nothing remarkable, but that's the one you have to throw the um, ender pearl into and um, <clears throat> it will teleport you to the end city. I knew that needed to be there because that's how you get to the end city. And everything else around the bottom here is rough terrain. I did put the portal down here because it wasn't going to fit up top. And I figured that was a nice way to occupy some of the space down on the bottom here. Once you go up here, you have the end chorus fruit. I believe that's what it's called. I am, I still keep up with Minecraft, but I don't play the new updates as often. I mostly play on servers now, so I'm not familiar 
with a lot of the names of these things, so I do apologize. I believe that's in Chorus Fruit, and there's a couple of those all around here. I do enjoy that fruit in the game where you break it and the entire thing comes falling down on you. Um, it's fun to farm. There's some rough terrain around the base here, and my personal favorite part is the end pirate ship. So as you can see, it has the Ender Dragon mascot head on the end there, and then the overall pirate ship build. I love these builds in the game. I love how they float. And End City has been one of my dream Lego builds for about as long as I can remember. But at minifig scale Minecraft, it is near impossible. I'm not going to say it's impossible because I think you could do it, but it would take a lot of technic. It's out of my ballpark, and if LEGO were to do it, it would have to be like a direct-to-consumer set if they wanted to do a full in city. And then how do you do the floating pirate ship? Like, there's so many problems that come with trying to do it, which is exactly why I don't think LEGO ever will do it. And I think um, if they still did these micro worlds, this would be the perfect way to do it. Because as you can see here, you get the full size of the micro build in, or the in city in this small micro build. So, as you can see the base down here, each tan stripe, uh, there goes my camera again. Each tan stripe is supposed to signify, I'm trying to get this to stop doing that. Each tan stripe is supposed to signify a floor of the tower. Obviously the figures wouldn't fit in there, but these um, micro world builds are more about looks than practicality. And you can see all of the branching pathways, all of the different buildings. And this balcony here is one of the little archways where you can jump off of with your Elytra. And you get the Elytra out of the um, pirate ship. So it all ties together pretty nicely. I do apologize if I'm sniffly, by the way. Uh, I have a stuffy nose at the moment. And yeah, the build itself is pretty simple but I think it really gets the look of the end city across. Um, I am happy with how it looks as a whole. And to bridge into the rest of the world, I am also happy with how it looks next to the official set. Now these two sets don't connect directly because there are no connection points on the end set and it is technically a separate dimension. So unlike everything up here where they connect these two I'm just going to put them next to each other. Um, the end is full of floating islands. It's full of separate, you know, you go into the end city through a portal. It's a separate dimension inside of the end. So I feel like having them separate makes a lot of sense. Everything ties together really nicely. You've got the portal here. I made the stronghold, so that's how you get here. And then that is your portal to escape once you destroy the pillars and defeat the ender dragon. Um, I really am happy with how these look together. I think for the complete micro world end, it is very satisfying and long time viewers of my channel have known, will know that I've never really committed to doing the alternate dimensions in my Minecraft worlds because I always think they're too daunting. So to have a complete end display is really satisfying. And speaking of alternate dimensions, here is the complete nether dimension. And I am extremely happy with how my custom nether biomes add-on looks next to the official set. Now, the only problem, like problematic part, is the fact that they built the uh, nether fortress out of black, which is of course the same color that I used for my bastion. Excuse me. However, it kind of works back here because it makes this look like it's part of the bastion. And I also don't really want to modify these official uh, micro world sets because I just love the way they are um, intended to be. So um, the most I did was intentionally put this module the wrong way just to connect everything. Um, I don't really like to, well, and I did do it, oops, I did do a bit of modification on the set technically by removing, I wanted to place the nether portal, but it, all you had to do if you wanted that to be how it came is take the portal off and put that right there. But I do like having the portal up there. If I could, I broke it a little bit, I could put that back together. So yeah, um, I do like how the nether wastes 
blend into the warped forest and we have the crimson forest soul sand valley the nether basalt all of our nether biomes are here so this is a pretty complete build for the nether and i think it looks really good um i think it pr properly portrays the um very treacherous uh just kind of sprawling emptiness of the nether the nether is really quite an empty dimension and hence why the official nether micro world has a bit of a boring set um i do love this set but i think it's the weakest of the micro worlds because it's a little boring so um yeah but connected to my custom build i think they look great together um, a lot of things I did on purpose. I intended for these to line up the way they do, and it's really satisfying to see them line up like that. So yeah, there's just a lot of little details like that that I think really bring this together, and the same with the end. So with that, for the time being, that is the micro world. I will be coming back to this, I'm almost 100% certain. But the weekly uploads are unfortunately going to stop for a little bit. Um, I'm almost finished with the school year and um, my job will not be, I won't be working over summer. So I will have open time this summer. So I will certainly be returning to the world. But for what we have at the moment, and this is technically what I'm considering the complete world at the moment because there is a chance i would never add on to this but i'm almost 100 percent certain i will this has everything i want it's got underwater it's got mine shafts it's got uh lush caves dripstone it's got stronghold the deep dark all of the things that you could want a little bit of every biome there might be some small biomes that are missing i do know i don't have a swamp and i would like to get to a swamp issue is it kind of mirrors this a little too closely but i have a plan to work around that um yeah it's just you know it worked out really well i think and i'm excited about that so with that being said i'll give one final look over the world it's kind of bittersweet to be at this point but it's also extremely satisfying because everything came together so well and looks awesome and it's been not actually really that long since I started the micro world. So to see it come together, um, I actually don't remember because the videos have been going up for over a month now, but I don't know when I actually started them. It's been a while and this has been a long time in the making. So I'm very, very satisfied with how things have turned out. And specifically with the in city, that's probably my favorite module, even though it's such a simple one. Um, so yeah, I really don't know if there's anything else to say. So for the time being, this is the micro world. There's no real way to show it all together, but this is the micro world. And hopefully there will be more soon. I don't know what my next upload will be about or what it will be, but I promise you it should be before too long. Don't take my word on that, but hopefully. So yeah, um, Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the support. As always, hopefully you've enjoyed this series. Um, it's been awesome to do weekly uploads for as long as I've been doing them at the moment. Uh, it's sad to take a break, but I think it's a needed break. So yeah, that all being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.